Be charming. Hey, superstars, this is my April update video. It has been a bit of a trying month for me. Um, I haven't made a video for a couple of weeks because I lost my computer hard drive and my backup failed and my cloud backup was kind of out of date. So I lost a lot of data, including stuff I use a lot in my video files. So it's been super frustrating. So, you know, back up that stuff, kids. I'm getting back as much data as I can, but doing it online has been kind of a slow and painful process. And there were a few things that are just gone forever. So I've been a bit grumpy about the whole thing. I need to snap out of it and get my butt back to work though. And that's another thing is that my day job's been super, super busy, which is good because it had been really slow for a few months and I'm paid hourly, but it leaves me with little time to work on this fun YouTube stuff. So why can't someone just pay me to exist and let me do all the stuff that I wanna do? Anyway, enough of me complaining about my dumb problems. I got a VR for Dustin and Blake, a recent autograph project to show off, and a couple of pickups. So let's see if I remember how to do all this stuff. My good friends Dustin and Blake are celebrating 900 subs and they should have a lot more than that. So go check them out if you haven't, but I'm sure most of you have. Dustin wants to see an all defensive lineup and you know I love my lineup VRs and you know I'm gonna do an all Cleveland lineup. So here we go. For catcher, Cleveland has had a lot of great defensive catchers over the years. Jim Hegan and Ray Fossey were excellent, but I'm gonna opt for players that I've seen play when I can, meaning I have to choose between Sandy and Roberto Perez. Both were very excellent. Sandy was kind of overshadowed by Ivan Rodriguez, but I'm gonna give the nod to Bebo, who I think is slightly better defensively than Sandy was. First base, logic says to go with Mr. Seinfeld, Keith Hernandez with his 11 gold gloves, but my heart says go with Vic Power. I never saw him play, but he's got a cooler name, seven gold gloves, and he played a bit in Minnesota, so there's the whole Dustin and Blake connection. Hernandez hated Cleveland anyway. Second base, Roberto Alomar. Third base, Maddie Williams. Shortstop, Omar. And outfield, Kenny is easy. Uh, Grady was a blast to watch when he was healthy. And then I got to go with someone who I never got to see play. Uh, Minnie and Tris were both excellent outfielders, but I think I have to go with Minnie on this one. And finally, pitcher. I think Dustin did this giveaway just to get people talking about Jim Cott, but uh, he didn't play in Cleveland. So I thought about Phil Necro, who was a great fielder, but he was Grandpa Phil when he played here. And so I'm going to go with Zach Plesak. Zach is a heck of an athlete out there on the mound, and he's got an amazing pickoff move. And I'm a little surprised he hasn't won a gold glove yet, but he's definitely worthy. And Dustin and Blake are definitely worthy of their success. Congrats, guys, and here's to hopefully 1,000 soon. I had the absolute pleasure and honor of getting to do a signed and numbered print with Frank Minifield and Hanford Dixon. If you're a Browns fan, you know that these are the guys that originated the whole dog pound thing here in Cleveland. On top of being Cleveland royalty, they're really, really funny and super cool. Here's a clip. You, know, you did the best you could do for me, dog. I know my face is all messed up. So you, I appreciate what you did, you know. Hey, hey, Scott, that first one, man, that first one you did, man. You, did you actually see me and Hanford look like that? Yeah. <laughs> that's a devilish that, that benefit. That kind of like Chase over there. Listen way. to me, that's a benefit when he was young, he, dog, he was the, the devil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rod, you ready? Yep, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll right. go ahead and get Scott. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to knock you out there. Yep. Which, which color is it? Blue beats. Blue beats. Who was the hardest hitter in the NFL? Who's looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jack Tatum, man. He's a great girl. No, 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 no. Jack Tatum played safety, didn't he? This way Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all forgive us. We just, we just, we're, we're enjoying the conversation. Yeah, we... Let's see, uh... You better be careful when we hit you. See, Frank, <laughs> man, in case of, if you rule with Minifield, yeah. on the road, you know... See, I like the room cold. Minifield like the room hot. So, he gonna get mad at me one game and gonna punish me, and he said, well, that's all I got. Excuse me, I'm going to go sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> I mean, you know what? He got a game to play the next day. Hey, it wasn't an A game. It was a championship game. Right. I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Put the cold water on and let it. <laughs> hey, man. Can we get 
with y'all, Big Dog? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. You're Appreciate welcome. you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good, Good job. job. Finally. Good if I ask Big Dog right there, you think I can get my hair like <laughs> Are you Scotty with your picture? Yeah. 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 You need me to pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might have done a whole video on this project, but I lost all the art footage. Um, I do have one signed artist proof available to benefit autographs for a cure, but I did not tell Mike yet. So if you are interested in purchasing this one and helping out a really good cause, send me an email and we'll work out the details. Pickups. I bought some cool stuff, a little bit of retail therapy, if you will. This is my favorite Grandpa Phil card, and I always intended to send him one to get signed, but I missed the boat. So I picked up this Tiffany off of the Facebook. I found a good deal on a PSA 10 Bieber Rookie, one of my favorite modern cards, so I was happy to add another one of those. Here's a 52 Luscious Luke from my binder. Pretty cool card. I'm trying to keep up with the Guardians roster as far as autographs go, but they keep making moves with a little COVID scare and some double headers and stuff. Fortunately, relief pitchers are usually pretty cheap. I've got Nick Sandlin, Emmanuel Classe, who isn't cheap, but I did all right with an auction. Uh, James Karinchek, Ernie Clement, Zach Plesak, Connor Pilkington, Cal Quantrill, and Eniel De Los Santos, which brings me to 27 out of 37 players. And I've been looking for a nice Red Heart Al Rosen for a couple of years now. I really wanted a PSA 6 or 7, but I couldn't find any. So I bought a couple of raw ones last month to tide me over. And wouldn't you know it, this one popped up on eBay. I got a fair deal, but it was definitely one I needed to pounce on. So I'm super excited about this one. That's it for now. Keep being awesome, everybody. And don't forget to check out Dustin and Blake. Much love, guys. We'll see you real soon. Hey, I kind of remembered how to make one of these videos.